There was desync. Maybe there won't be desync now. Storm Tornado, my stalwart companion. I knew there was a reason I liked you best. <coughs> Taking spikes again, Jesus. Oh my god. So so is this that, that let's play curse everyone's always going on about? Ah shit. I can't dash past that enemy if it's like that. I guess that makes sense because you can stand on part of him. I wonder if he can crush you to death then. Come on, douchebag. <clears throat> Your everything explode. All those fuck-mothering spikes have got me scared to even attempt to jump anywhere now. <coughs> so sad, actually. Which one of these works on him again? I think it's Rolling Shield, actually. I don't have another life to spend, so I have to waste any time. I should have found more of these by now, I think. <clears throat> well, that's done with at least. I'm fairly sure I never have to come back. I hope. Because that was fucking terrible. I can get a life upgrade here. And since I'm down to zero lives anyway, I can re-up on lives by suicide. <coughs> Odd things games teach you. Strange, strange things. Damn, never done that before.
Yeah, remember I had trouble with this in one of the earlier videos? Turns out, there's supposed to be water here. Which will give you a much needed boost to do that. Instead of that. That's gonna come from super loud on there. Conk! Okay. Boomer Kalanger, just simply because I think I have his weakness now. And also, I need him to get like two or three more upgrades. The Disco Centipede! Actually, I think he's supposed to be like a beetle or something? Of course, rolling shield's not gonna work. Rolling shield never fucking works. <clears throat> I forget a lot of times that I don't have to kill everything in a video game. <clears throat> now, mind you, to a point, it's because I play a lot of RPGs and... Most of them, it'll benefit you to kill everything, because you'll get stronger, you'll get money, you'll get better drops, shit like that. But yeah, games like this, it's hardly necessary. <clears throat> no, I mean, if you can work something out to where it's, you know, simple enough to kill them, by all means, fuck them up. But yeah... For the most part, it's about as easy to just fucking run past during invincibility frames. Fuck. To a point, it might also be because I was exhausted to the point of desiring sleep at, like, well, before I went into work today, and it's four in the morning now. See, shotgun ice isn't completely worthless. <clears throat> it's actually pretty useful, it's just, it's very slow. <coughs> And not just terribly ammo efficient either. I've already run through almost my entire store of it. I think I actually had to have Boomer Kawanger's weapon to get that even. Ah. Oh. Things seem to be going slightly better now. This is one thing I like about the Mega Man games. I can clear a stage, or I can clear two stages in ten minutes if I try hard enough. Dave's bro, if he were in a video game. Oh, I'm pretty sure Dave's bro would not go down nearly as easy to missiles, or literally any conventional or unconventional weapon in existence. Boomerang Cutter. Okay. Now the fun part. <clears throat> Which I can probably go ahead and knock out in this video. <coughs> I believe there is an energy tank here.
Yeah, there we go. There need to be more boomerangs in video games. Hmm. There we go. I was wondering what the fuck was up with that. There is an energy tank here, but I'm pretty sure I'm thinking of Flame Mammoth stage. Mm. Anyway, this is up around 10 minutes long. I'll go ahead and cap it off now. Make sure before I waste anybody's time. Uh, next round, we'll finish getting all of our upgrades and then whoop on this chameleon dude here.